Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Norway getting ready for the PCS Open presented by Innova. Bad news, we didn't film anything last week. So, you know, whatever, good news, we're back. The front nine is already up on Vody's channel, so make sure you go check, uh, check that video out. It's, it's, you know, this is our first time in Norway, so it's pretty cool to see this course. Whoa, 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 first time for you in Norway. Have you been here before? Probably. Oh, floating probably. <laughs> Uh, bad news, we had like a 16 hour travel day and, you know, it's not ideal. Vody's back's all tight, well, it makes it tough. Let me, let me get some spray on it. Me... But, good news, it's 9 o'clock and it feels like it's like 5 o'clock because the sun doesn't set in the, uh, what, what, what's the, what, what, where are we? Northern Hemisphere. No, 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 no it definitely sets in the Northern Hemisphere, what's yeah, it called? Uh, it's the... Earth, no. we are on Earth. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, uh, you know, Norway, Solstice. Finland. You guys know what I'm talking about. Scandinavia. Uh, Scandinavia, yes. Um, bad news, I jacked up my ankle kind of bad uh, on Wednesday night of last week. And it was really bad like on Thursday, but now it's getting better. I can, I can walk on it and throw some like standstill shots. But trying to throw like a full power backhand would be kind of sketchy. So we'll see how it progresses. Hopefully by the uh, tournament I can play. Um, so you but got me. you got me as far as your tour guide. Yeah, we're mostly watching how Brody plays this course because I'm I'm a little I'm a little inactive right now. Right but now, it's not going too good. bad though. It's not, it's not far. It's a very short course. It is really, yeah, it is very short. So I'm able to kind of sneak around with the with the standstills, but I am hopeful. I think it'll be I think it'll be fine by the tournament. Um, to at least play standstills and then putting's fine. So bad news. Hey, I need one more bad news. Bad news is uh, the conversion rate over here is very very dark. Oh, it's us. very confusing for us trying to figure out the cash. Well, we and also spent 30 minutes trying to figure out the difference between NOK, NOK, yeah. and NKR right. to find out that they're the exact same thing. Yeah, so I guess bad news is more kind of stupid. But good news, back nine starts right now. Let's get into it. <laughs> Please make sense of this hole for me. All right, I have no idea. I will say, I like that on the hole signs, they also include the feet, because trying to do the math on 111 meters, I, I can't do it. We have hole number 10, 11, well, 364 feet, 111 meters, pole three. Looks like the intended gap is this left side. No. I think I was gonna go for <laughs> just a beeline, straight at it, missed the end of a sign, poke the hole. Now I can't imagine anybody actually taking that unless <laughs> that they're a psychopath. So small. This right side looks like the intended line. I think Brody was just saying this might be a brand new hole for this season, which it definitely feels like it. Feels like they kind of just cut it out. So it looks cool, but definitely a little bit raw. I'm assuming it'll be a spike forehand. Raptor. Backhand. Spike hi spike heiser forehand. I'm gonna go ra I'm gonna go raptor. I'm gonna go tomahawk. What would Jake Wolf do? You know? <laughs> I really don't know the shape of this fairway. So it seems like it's going to be more like a S. Okay, yeah. It seems like more of a S. I, hey, you're doing your part trying to break it in. I appreciate that. <coughs> I think we all really appreciate you doing more. your part out here. This Let's is, they, they talk about the disc Z golf light. community being a big deal. And we really, hey, we really appreciate, really appreciate all the hard work that you do for the community out Your here. Your world's been a lot to you, man. Thank you. Is it open up back there? I don't know. I felt like it was going to be way short, and then it kind of kept pushing. So okay, it's out there. Good luck. Oh man, my back is just really tightening up in every every move I make. Every move you make. Songs. Hey, that song's kind of creepy, actually. If you think about it. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of sus. Ah. It's like once it once it goes, it's gone. Once it tightens, it's, it's tight. Once it tightens, it's really. It's hard. like it's a. It's like it's like it's got a, like a lock washer on it. Yeah. Once it gets it tight, can't. it's really hard for it to get back. Wow. I would be shocked if it's a forehand. That does not seem like it is. Seems so difficult. I'm gonna try one more machete. Just nine more holes, baby. Nine more holes. Uh, 
I just like pushing that back wall. So we're gonna see. We'll go on the fairway and we'll kind of see. This is definitely a hole where you kind of need to go down to the basket and look backwards to kind of see what actually the shot is. Yeah. It's a late, it's like a hyzer flip forehand yeah. that then turns late and finishes. Yeah, this is wild. So just a straight hyzer was gonna end up quite a bit left of the basket. Yeah. Might still be the play just because the flex forehand is way too, is so difficult. But, wow, very really tough hole, wow. Just blast it into these trees and hope for the best? I guess. That's, that's awkward. Here's the thing, I think if we, can we go high off the tee? No. You don't think, no? No, if, they if, have if, trees right in front. If we go high, it, we can You can go high, but go you're not gonna be able to get that far. I think you're gonna get like, to where we are right this now. This is such a, such a difficult shape of a hole. I suppose it's possible. I suppose you try to just get, you try to just hug this and then give yourself like a 30 foot on left of it. I don't know. Definitely gotta, definitely gotta, definitely gotta workshop it. Hole number 11. This is the exact same distance as the last hole. 364 feet. Uh, looks like it's an island green. What I like about it is everything off the green is a hazard. So if you absolutely shank it, you take it where it is instead of just going to a drop zone. So I think that's gonna play nicely. Um, one thing to note, that tree on the left side next to the basket is like 40 feet short. So if you do throw a forehand, we're gonna wanna come inside of that and then kind of playing just for like a short, like a 30 foot yeah, putt probably. It's gonna be tough. Or... It's gonna be tough to get all the way to the basket. Throw the back. If you go end. over top. Oh boy. That's... Heiser? Do you have a 440 foot forehand? Yeah, actually <laughs> technically. <laughs> I, mean, I think the backhand will play, ni play nicely too. You can kind of just go left to this like center tree and then turn it in front of that uh, that last tree, and that'll actually shape it to where you can poke it. But I'm just gonna try forehand, because I think that's gonna be the highest percentage shot. Let's skip under it? It's like just, yes, yeah, like just short and under it, I think I'm OB. I need, it, I need it a little bit more height. More height, but also more highs are. Huh. The dig? Try a backhand. Try a backhand nebs. My flippy all on. See, the thing is, I feel like a turnable backhand is just so much more difficult than a. It than feels a like well, yeah. Than a high's a forehand. Especially if you do that. But that's actually inbound, so you know what? My forehands can suck it. Jeez, Raptor? Yeah, we'll juice a Raptor at it first. Oh, God. Hmm. Trying to work it out. Back, to... back still tight, huh? Trying to work it out. Trying to work it out. That, that's, I mean, that is tough. You know, I love that they built this tee pad up. I love that they've done with the place. You know, this wood looks really nice. But I mean, that is absolutely worst case scenario. Whoa. Oh, that might be inbounds. Oh, it's definitely inbounds. All right, let me get it. This is the last thing my back wanted to do. I need one more forehand and one more backhand. By one more, I mean one backhand. Oh, just caught the back side of it. Well, that true to go over it. Yeah, it caught. Well, it caught. It was. It was over it, and then it caught the uh, the right side as it was coming down. Mm. All right, a little turnover back, hand. Way too much turn. Tough shot. We're all out of sorts. I just gotta try and make it through this round. Hole 12, 696 foot, uh, pole four for the men, pole five for the FPO. Looks like we got OB all on the left side and then, and also a super skinny fairway to the landing zone that the guys in front of us are at. And it kind of bubbles out. You want to get to that spot and then throw over OB onto an island green. This hole looks pretty tricky. It's probably going to be like a, like a backhand. It looks like a, like the right shot's like a backhand flex shot, maybe like a tight zone. 
Yeah. It all looks tough. I'm, I'm going to try. The forehand flip up doesn't really look great, but at the same time, you might be able to throw a forehand out to the right That's and have is. a decent shot. Yeah, OB, that was no OB right. I'm gonna try, I'll try a forehand. Yeah. Passion. All right, here we go. Uh, needed a lot more power. All right, Onyx. I don't four on Onyx too often, so we'll see how, <laughs> see how it goes. Your game's really changing right in front of the camera. That was a reason. <laughs> I feel like this Teal Raptor, I mean, this That's Teal Raptor. That's probably, I should have thought the Raptor on. I think we have to be, become friends this week. <laughs> it feels like. A lot of shots out here. That's that and, and my back hit, and my uh, back need to become friends. Nice. I'm curious to see how far that is. It's pretty then, far away, but I thought like that should be and then a lot. Let's try a Buzz OS flex back then. Definitely not like the shot that suits me, but. Oh, that hurts so much worse. I might be a forehand guy too the rest of the day. We'll, we'll stand still four, just forehand <laughs> only. Oh my gosh, one shambles, Brody. Oh, the flying and playing the same day might not be the play as. Yeah, you might be right. I don't really know what to do off the tee because, like, the backhand flex shot is so hard. Yeah, this is, I mean, like, this is the, this is Brody's flying. This is a tough spot to be to try to get to the basket all the way down like they are. Like, this is where my forehand's going to end up. Right. You can't, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get, I mean, the only thing I can think of is if it somehow skips and then gets me over here. To we'll have I to go, we'll have to go to a, well, a good backhand spot would be too, though, because it may not even be well fit, because it might not be. Like, I think it's still going to be tough from that, from like a good backhand. Yeah, like from here, I think I'm literally, like, my play is, I think, dink, dink. Well, it's not even, uh, the second shot, or third shot's not even going to be a dink. Third shot's still going to be pretty tough. Let's get a little bit past this tree. Drink. Okay. 295. 395? Two. 295. Yeah, so it's just a spike, a spike hyzer from here, but. Okay, right. Yeah, you really want to get past the, past I, like these, this little trees. I don't know how you get there though. Like you have to just throw the greatest backhand of your life. Yeah. I just think the backhand too is scary because if you. If you hit, you kick left. You hit something right. early, like what are you doing now, you know? Yeah. I almost probably am just going to play this for par. Chip a forehand and then. Hmm. Such a weird forehand, but. Such a white disc into a white sky. Well. Ooh. That's how we have to do it right now. You want to tap your ankle, man? <laughs> Bar. It's cool green. Hole 13, 728 foot. Uh, Paul Four, kind of shaped the same as. This hole we just played on the front nine, seven or whatever it was. But we're gonna have a nice long, I guess, nuke tee shot. Dog leg left, so you wanna get distance and then maybe have it fade a little bit off to the left. And then should have a somewhat short up shot since it's always 728 feet. So it should be able to get to within 300 feet. And then um, I guess we'll see what the green looks like and what the trees look like. But those kind of OB everywhere. So you have stain bounds. Also, mountain in the background, pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Growing up, Noir was always the place I wanted to go to the most because I was always into the uh, the wingsuit guys that would like base jump off the few walls. They did that here. They, the that's like one of the best. That's I don't know, if the, maybe not the most, but this is one of the places that they would they would they do would it. do that because oh. I was like mountains and then the few walls instead of just base jump and then yeah. Hey, follow, but, your, follow your dreams, man. I'm, I get to follow my dreams, you know. I get the dreams come true every day. Wingsuit, wingsuit as <laughs> well. Probably not what happened. See how this, see how the backhand feels. <laughs> I'm terrified. Whew. You will rock. Come on now. I wasn't actually, I mean, I definitely hold a little bit of a click, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. All right, I can commit a little bit more now, I think. Yes. Fly, wingsuit, passion, fly. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't. Not, the problem no. is like, Good. once it goes, it's just I can't. I can't get it gone. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna sleep on the crossbar tonight. <laughs> Should I try to go over that tree? I kind of like the oval to play. Well, I think yeah. that's the biggest gap. That looked so painful. It's just like it's so not explosive. Decent shot though. One and done. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we, we, we're gonna try to finish this video, guys. We're gonna try with every last cell we have in our bodies. I would say if we weren't filming, I would. I would. Uh, stop. If we weren't filming, I'd be done for sure. I'd be done. But I'd be done. We've only got five, six holes. Gosh, it's why a lot. Don't I have a clone? We'll, 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 we'll try. We'll try. Hang, hang, hang in there with us. Well, so I guess this is obviously not the landing zone. I'm just gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. We'll walk up to where the actual landing zone is, and then I can talk about it a little bit more. Is it enough? No. <laughs> but if I had to pull five, I have a body chance. So I think this is where like a healthy Brody or Ezra would throw a tee shot, like a decent, a good tee shot to, hopefully. Maybe a little bit shorter, but this seems like a decent landing zone. Um, it does kind of pinch right here with these trees, but if you get to here, it looks like it's a pretty straightforward up shot. And if you don't have any like of these Ollie trees in the way, you can just go over top, which I will attempt with my Raptor. Oh, it's OB right too, I guess. So that's something to th that's something to think about. And OB left, so it really pinches up. Good putt. Pinches up by the uh, basket. 407 foot pole three. We got OB kind of surrounding it in this cool shape. I don't really know how to describe that. It's like it's like sideways lips almost. Um, we got this tunnel shot up the gap, which is probably the intended line. See people go either backhand turnover or maybe a big straight forehand. Also looks like there might be a couple sneaky backhand lines. Could probably just go over top with like a stall, like a flippy kind of stall shot, which could walk. Or if you had enough right stuff to win, you could probably go <laughs> out here and then the wind can kind of lift it and push it. But with the OB, that seems uh, the way too risky. Straight so. retee. Oh, it will no. be curious to see how bad, how far right the OB is up yeah. by the basket. Cause it's supposed to be like 70 feet on the right side. What about the left side? 60, 60. Mm. How does it might be terrible? The stall has them on my, my, uh, bad. I'm gonna go this though, cause yeah, obvious reasons. Oh. You know what, man? I'm okay with that, you know? It's, <laughs> it's, it's pitch count. Well, it's bad. You guys will be able to see people actually play good it's bad. when the tournament happens, but today's not that day. Hopefully us too. Yeah, hopefully. Nice shot, dude. Thanks, dude. Uh, I guess there's not a whole lot to say. I mean, the OB, like we said, it's like 60, 70 feet on each side. It's, you have to just throw up the middle, I feel like. I don't like the backhand. The, the over the top. Hit the... Yeah, the, the wide backhand for sure is going to just crash this stuff. The over the top, I guess, is kind of the same way. You're kind of just hoping to get lucky. But uh, the up the middle shot, it's only 400 feet, so I feel like just throwing a, throwing a mid-range or pass or something probably pretty good. Or a forehand. But yeah, easy choice. All right, hole 14, another par 4. Liking that they, I'm liking that they're picking up the par 4 count on this back nine. Definitely makes it more exciting. I also love all the uh, roped off OB with the stakes. Looks super nice and then obviously adds challenge as well. So this is an 846 foot pole floor. Looks like the, the kind of the landing zone that you'd want to hit that's like 450 to 500 feet away kind of pinches in with the fairway. So in order to get past that, you have to blast one to get to the water landing zone, but that's obviously more distance, less accuracy. So some people will probably have to just kind of play short of that and then have a longer second shot into the green, which also is going to play like an island. So this looks like it's going to be a pretty tricky one. I'm just going to go stand still <laughs> forehand <laughs> to make sure I throw a good shot. Oh, right, it's not looks like you're going to need a lot of distance off the tee. Yeah. I'm just going to go stand still go forehand. Stand still forehand. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know. It's kind this, of sad. Is, this is, guys, this is our saddest like practice round video of all time. Did you just go B? No. I went center cut fairway. Nice shot. 275. Nice shot. I'm gonna attempt to hit, throw the shot they're asking for here. It just feels like it's gonna come on my hand so slow. That one That's my like flippiest nuke. It didn't flip at all. 
That might be good. That actually didn't look terrible though. I know, but if shots. I throw that, if I throw that like that much with that little hyzer, that turns into a roller. Yeah. It's coming out of my hand like 70%. I huh. really hope that the these that this hole that these holes seem like impossibly far <laughs> just because of our current condition and not because they actually are. I don't know if I can get past this little blip out <laughs> healthy. Like full backhand. And if I'm if I'm if I'm laying up to short, I mean obviously from here I can't do anything, but if I'm like short of this, I don't know if it's I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna open another stance to a forehand. <laughs> See if I can get a Paul save. Yeah, it's gonna play, boys. You're throwing that really good. This is a sweet green. OB left, drop off wall to the right. OB carry, up. which is not in play for you because you just laid up twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, this hole to play for Baldy, this hole is. So difficult. There's no way you want to throw backhand second. I don't, well, no, I guess you could. But if, ideally, you go like massive backhand, massive forehand, probably. Yeah. Or you go forehand, forehand, forehand. Par. Yeah, I'll give that to myself. That's fine. That's a par. I'll give that to you. Thanks, man. I need it. Good green. You gotta love that slope. That's good. It's got a good slope to it for sure. It's really cool how there's like this moat that kind of just wraps around the whole thing. Brings me back to my medieval times. Yeah, honestly. I feel like I've, I've definitely like, getting colder too. Feel like a Viking. Okay. Which isn't really medieval, but um, uh, was Vikings and medieval times at the same time? Um, oh, don't quote me. Oh, the well, weather's dropping. The weather's dropping. It's four degrees cooler. This catch all, I barely know all. Hole sixteen, another beast of a Paul float. Looks like six hundred and seven feet. It's gonna be uphill a little bit. I, I can't see the hole, so I think what you're gonna have to just throw and kinda talk about it as we play. But it does look like a pretty skinny fairway, and then OB right, left, past it everywhere. So uh, let's throw a shot and see how it turns out. I think just to switch it up, I'm gonna go forehand, standstill, nuke. <laughs> Do that. Yes. Perfect. I might be able to say Paul. Old Pinky. Oh. It's been a while since she's been in the bag. Go oh, back in. Oh, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go smooth. Smooth is good. <laughs> no, don't do that. <clears throat> That's. All right, I'll go one forehand. No, no juice. No. No juice no today. Juice. Seems like this is actually a pretty decent landing zone. This this fairway is very tight with this the right side being a hill like this and the OB not very far away. So anywhere on the fairway is probably pretty decent. I've got about a little less than 300 feet left downhill through this gap. Uh, I'm going to go nebs. I think you could probably get more distance and you might see some people go backhand off the gut. Slight turnover. But it gets so tight and with the slope, I don't, I don't know if you're playing for a whole lot more than this. Well, you know, quick we we line button. It's also bad, but that's a putt at least. I like it though. It's a tough hole. These 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 puff walls I feel like are actually really solid, but uh, kind of hard to tell with all <laughs> limited ability. Double tight pin. It's tight as in cool and tight as in OB inside the circle, which I like. Also. Viking ship somehow crashed myself. Well, if that's how big, I got nothing, dude. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. What if, what if that's how big the Viking ships actually were, and the, the Vikings were actually tiny little men? There is a, uh, there is a picture of Christopher Columbus's ship versus like a Chinese explorer ship, and it's crazy. Look really? it up on Google. Wow. Is this the famous horseshoe hole? I think. Is Must it be famous. Right? It's famous. Uh, uh, is there any gaps over here? It's no Mando. No Mando. 509 feet, and you the basket's probably 300 feet that way. You won't do it. 
I don't really want to lose a disc. So yes, I will not do it. It's all in bounds. Wow, so it's basically just, it's like two big forehands, it looks like. Or well, small forehands if you're me. That's good for you, that's the only thing you can throw today. Well, big's not really the, well, really big. But. if you can get over those trees, I'll be impressed. Ah! <laughs> impressed? Impressed? Yay! Yes! I'm gonna, right. try, I'm gonna try one more. One play. Nice. Try one more. I like that, man. It's aggressive, but I like it. A little it. more hyzer and a little tighter. That looked metal. I want to see what. How, I, I want to see like how much more beneficial doing the aggressive line is, or is it just like get over the trees and then just upshot? Right. Also. Pretty sweet views. I mean, we're definitely not in Kansas anymore. Wow, that's, a, that's so many shots fired. They can handle it. <laughs> a little more power would be nice. I'd like to be another 30 feet towards, uh, towards Bernie. But we won't put what we have. Bugs? No, the tree. Oh. You can do it. Standstill guys now, dude. Standstill is the future, it is. Uh, as far as horseshoe holes go, this one actually plays pretty solid. Um, I was thinking it was gonna be walls, so kind of pleasantly surprised. Oh, oh! Finish it out. Let's hey, let's finish it out, man. Come on. Let's finish it out. Let's finish it out. Finish it out. Standstill four. Eighteen nine hundred and seventy-six feet. No. <laughs> Six hundred thirty-seven feet. Pull four. Ob everywhere. Fairway up the middle. Pinch point. About 66 feet away from the green Pinch from the basket. Point. Pinch so, point. I'm just gonna take the, the tip. Like I think most people stepping up to this hole, you want to get good distance. You want to be in the fairway. I'm doing the standstill forehand. God, this guy knows how to play the game. I'm kind of beating a dead horse, but I feel like that's <laughs> like the only joke I can make this for this video. Did it fade? Does it fade? Does it fade? Too big, dude. Soon enough. Too big. I'll throw one more. Wow, two shots. Yeah, I'm gonna. We both pitch count. This is it. such a treat. Well, one last hole, so I might as well. There she is. There she goes. Good shot, dude. Thank you. Last forehand hit. I like it. Oh man. Should be alright though. Yeah. Should be alright. I'm gonna blast one more though. Be good. Oh, what a treat. I'm a monster. You did too? Yeah. It's only right. That's what the fans want to see, man. So, is anybody still watching this video, they just got to see four shots on one hole? That's crazy. You know what? I'm blasting that one. Wow. I didn't like how that one came out of my hand. Nope. Neither did I. We're going flat. We're going flippy. I like it. Blast. That was a blast to watch. That was smashed. That's it. That's it. Inbounds is a win for me today, folks. Hey, good shot, man. Proud Thank of you, man. Really proud of you, man. Good shot, good shot. Really proud of you, man. Good shot, good shot. It's only uh, fitting. We want the beef. Give him the beefy. Give him the beef. So beefy. Go in. Oh. That's so beefy. I might just go straight beef the entire tournament. Probably the best option. Only option. Got to get those puff walls somehow. Be really sad if you missed this. It'd be, I'd, I'd cry, I think. Would I cry? Maybe. Uh, it's going to be hard to focus with the uh, backdrop and the tractor. The tractor's never been hit so far. Really? It's brand new. I kind of want to hit it on purpose now. <laughs> I want you to hit the wheel and just rubber band off. 
Yes, yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's, if you get it, if one make out of two is good. So that's all, that's all you need. Good putt, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. For anybody who actually stayed and watched the whole thing, thank you. And also apologies for this video being a little different. Obviously, we are trying to fight through some bodily ailments and hopefully we can play the tournament. But as far as the course, I actually, I like this course. It started off a little slow with the Paul 3s, but then it finished really strong with some really solid Paul 4s. I like the OB, I like the views, and uh, I think it'll play pretty well for the tournament. Uh, also, it'd be nice to play with like full health because I think maybe the Paul 4s would feel a little bit more attackable if we actually had distance. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see you in the next one. Wish us luck. We uh, we kind of need it. We kind of need it. We kind of need it. Also, it's 11 o'clock right now. I mean, it's basically daylight. So, gotta love the gotta love the northern hemisphere. Thanks for watching. Peace.